make sure you get lots of fruits and vegetables in your diet. While health, diet, and fitness can be a somewhat controversial subject with many contrasting views, there is one viewpoint that is pretty much unanimous among all parties. Fruits and vegetables are good for us. And in fact, they're extremely good for us, and a lack of the vitamins and minerals found in fruits might actually be responsible for a lot of the health issues faced by many people today. So the question then becomes, how do you make sure you're getting enough? This is a pertinent question, given that fruits and vegetables are prone to going moldy in the fruit bowl, take a while to prepare when cooking, and can get expensive. In this presentation, we'll go over some top tips. Use frozen. Frozen fruits and vegetables retain many of the same healthy properties as non-frozen. This means that you can buy yourself a pack of frozen mushrooms, for example, and then use these in cooking. There's never a need to run out and buy more. You'll be able to add them to all kinds of meals. Freeze your cooking. While we're on the subject of the freezer, you can also use this as an ideal place to freeze extra portions of the meals you cook. Just cook more than you need whenever you make a healthy meal. Then place the extra portions in the freezer. You can now eat a healthy bolognese or similar dish instead of a far less healthy ready meal the next time you're pushed for time. Use dried fruit. Similar to frozen vegetables, dried fruit is a great option for conveniently getting the benefits of healthy food without having to risk things going off. You can even dry your own fruit outside. Grow your own. A money-saving strategy that is also rewarding and a lot of fun. This won't save time so much, but you'll find yourself eating more fruits and vegetables this way simply because you're so proud of what you've created. Use the blender. Making soups and smoothies is an ideal way to enjoy lots of healthy fruits and vegetables on the go. The prep can take a while, but this is less of an issue if you choose low-effort fruits and vegetables. And if you use the best products that make cleaning up afterward as easy as possible. How to eat lots of vegetables if you don't like vegetables. There are many reasons that people can struggle to get all the fruits and vegetables they need in their diet. Maybe they're extremely busy and don't have time to shop for fresh food or cook healthy meals. Maybe they don't have much cash and find that buying ready meals is cheaper. There is another reason that is easy to overlook though. A lot of people simply don't like fruits and vegetables. More specifically, a lot of people have big issues with vegetables. And if that describes you, you need to think about what you can do to solve this problem. In this presentation, we'll look at some easy fixes for that slight issue. Put them in cooking. One simple way to get yourself to eat more vegetables is to put them in your cooking. You might not like mushrooms, for instance, but if they are inside a bolognese, you might not notice them. And if that doesn't work, another option is to grate them. Grating things like carrot into a mix really does make them impossible to taste, while still offering all the same benefits. Try some sauce. You might find that the fruit or vegetable you don't like works much better with a sauce or dip. Celery is helped greatly by a little hummus, for example. Seasoning is also a good option. Try more. If you haven't found a vegetable you like yet, keep trying. Vegetables come in all shapes and sizes, and there are hundreds and hundreds of them. Keep trying different types, and you're sure to find at least some that you like, and that's just fine. You don't have to eat the same few vegetables that everyone else does, carrots, broccolis, peas. As long as you know how to source the type of vegetable that you do like, you'll still get the amazing benefits of eating vegetables. Have a soup or smoothie. One vegetable might not taste great to you, but blended up in a soup or smoothie, you might just find you can get away with it. Supplements. This is not the same by any stretch. Taking a multivitamin is not as good as eating real vegetables. But if you absolutely cannot stomach the thought of broccoli, then having a supplement of some sort will at least help to some degree. It's the next best thing. 